The lighting in here sucks, but I'm gonna make mangoes. Henry's breakfast, so I'll show you. So this is the kibble that we use. It is the Farmina for, I don't know if you can see, but it's for the puppy. Um, it's the medium and maxi, I guess, but the... Anyway, this is what Mango um, was using, and then this is what um, Harry is also eating in Kansas City. The reason why I like this is it's because the ingredients are so clean. Um, they're one of the better ones that I found for kibble. Um, so yeah, this is the one that we use. He really likes it. Um, we're gonna eventually transition him to raw, but I think as of right now, since he's still a puppy, we're gonna be doing this kibble, and then I add in any treats. Um, they are raw, freeze-dried. This is something else that I add to his food. It's bright yellow, but it's supposed to help with allergies, um, and he's been itching a lot. I feel like Mango had that too when he was here, because as soon as he left for um, Kansas City, Missouri, he was completely fine. Like the scratching stopped and then Henry started scratching. So I'm adding this into his food as well, hopefully to help with the itching. He is pretty food motivated. Um, but we've trained him to go to his room, which is the crate, and that's the only time he'll get fed. So he's still, he's still a puppy. He's, for the most part, potty trained, which is awesome, but I normally feed him, put him in his crate for an hour, and then we go out for a potty break again after he eats. I was going through my other YouTube videos from this channel and then my personal channel. I started that about five or six years ago and I was just doing videos of family vacations and it brings me so much joy just to go back and watch those. I can see myself grow. I can see how Ricky, my brother, has grown. So honestly, it makes me wish I had filmed Pet Scout from the beginning. Um, that is one of my biggest regrets just because I would have loved to see it grow. Um, from having like the smallest table at like the backyard of a happy hour, ap apartment happy hour, to I went to the Global Pet Expo as a vendor and then I went to the Dallas Farmers Market. So honestly, I just wish that I would have filmed it from the beginning. Honestly, lately I've been asking myself like how did I do so much more before um, and still have the energy to do more? Um, before I was waking up, like at 5 a.m. I would go work out, I would go for a run with Mingo, I would come back, shower, um, work on Pet Scout before going into the office, go into the office, um, work my butt off there, come back and continue to work and be social. Um, I felt like I was, I was in a good rhythm, um, I had my schedule down, I was active, I was doing so, so much. But I feel like with COVID, I got complacent. I want to be able to look back at these moments and enjoy them just to see like what I was doing, how I was doing it, um, and just to see it grow, see Henry grow, um, and the good and the bad too. So this is what I'm doing now. If there's a time to start something, it is now. I'm not married. I don't have kids. I'm doing a great job at my corporate job. I'm doing an awesome job at Pet Scout. Um, I'm working from home because of a pandemic. So. I don't know if I'll ever be in this spot again. This is what can happen in a year or two. Anything can happen. I may not have Pet Scout anymore or I may not have my corporate job anymore. I may have kids. Who knows? My priorities may change. So if, it, if there's a time to do it, it is now. Starting today, I'm going to document daily at least a little something of my day. So it won't be necessarily like daily uploads on YouTube, but it'll be a daily vlog where every day I'll pull out the camera, anything that I'm doing, I just want to get a snippet of that day. That way when I look back at it, I can remember what I was doing a certain day, um, a certain date of the year. I honestly love editing. Um, I'll link my personal YouTube channel. I was doing transitions like the TikTok and real transitions before they were cool. And I honestly miss that. I miss the editing piece. I miss like filming, telling a story. That's something that I really, really enjoyed with my personal YouTube that I feel like 
it's a great opportunity to document how I'm able to balance my corporate job and then grow Pet Scout and see Henry grow. He's a puppy and he's growing like crazy. So I want to be able to look back at these moments, whether they're good or bad. It's a great memory to have. So this will mostly be for myself. Um, that way I can go back and take a look at it. I think I have like 90 subs subscribers. So if you guys want to follow along, that is awesome. But I honestly want to be able to see how much I grow personally, professionally, um, in my career, in corporate, and with my small business. Anyway, that's the spiel. Um, I'll show you my little um, area for my corporate job. Whenever I'm working, I try to just focus on work. I avoid pet scout. I put my phone on silent. Um, and then whenever I have like my normal breaks or lunch breaks, that's when I work on pet scout. So let me show you my little area for work. Sorry for the mess, but I was working late. Um, but this is a little area that is dedicated to my corporate job. Um, the desk is from Wayfair. I'll try to find the link and link it for y'all, but um, it has great lighting. It, it does, whenever it gets sunny, it gets in my face, so I just lower that. But um, I have the desk. I brought, this is my work laptop, and I just bought a mouse, where is it? A mouse and keyboard. And that monitor, I believe, is from Target. It's like a white slash silver color. This is a drawing that we had one. Um, one of our customers made us that. It was so pretty. So this is Henry's bandana of the day. It's called Grandpa's Way. <laughs> it is actually inspired by my dad's um, truck. But this is the bandana of the day that Henry's wearing. He's still wearing a small since he's still pretty tiny, but I'm sure... When he's full grown, he'll probably be a medium or a large. Yeah, you have the zoomies? <laughs> what are you doing? Also, I noticed we're at 19.9 thousand followers. That is insane. We're almost to 20K. I remember when I started this, it was like zero. All right, so meeting is done. I ate half of my food, but there's still a little bit of time left. So I'm gonna run downstairs and grab a package. I think the first shipments of fabric for Christmas arrived. <sighs> Sneak peek time. Okay, I got more fabric than this, but this is all that fits here. It's so much. So it is now 5, 16 p.m. I'm done with work. Um, I brought up the fabrics and then I had a couple of meetings and then we hired someone to come help me package orders and get some stuff done. Her name is Aileen. She is really, really sweet. I'll ask her if she wants to be the next one. Um, but she helped me with the fabrics, just get them ready, see what we got, do inventory. Um, so let me show you what will be, what I'm going to be cutting first. So like what bandanas will launch first. So the first one, we are gonna be restocking leg day. So all of our bandanas are reversible. Um, we wanted to make them affordable for everybody. I hate it that 
you know, you had to buy like a square of fabric and they're like over $20. Like to me, that's not affordable. So that's why we make them reversible and they're under $20, all sizes. We are gonna have some more of Mommy's Little Pumpkin. It's really pretty like football print. Stocking Alebrije. This is what it looks like. This is one of our best sellers. What the reverse side would look like. We will have a little bit of Star Wars. It is flannel, so it'll keep your pup warm. Then I'm gonna show you a sneak peek of Christmas. I'm not sure when these will launch yet. We'll probably do the same where every week we'll be um, showing like or putting new arrivals. But let me show you the two that I have. So this is the first one. It's Nutcracker. Then this really pretty red floral with glitter pine cones. So now I'm about to get to work i'm gonna start cutting fabrics um into bananas tomorrow i'm gonna get another large um shipment of fabric but i figure um i might as well start cutting i have no idea where i'm gonna store these fabrics there's like no space i do have the storage unit so i may be moving some stuff around but i think the best solution is to start cutting all right i'm gonna take henry out he just ate um, so I'm gonna take him out for a potty break and then after that he'll stay here because I'm gonna go with my friend Chloe and Melanie. We're gonna go to a drive-in movie theater here in Dallas and we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus. I've actually never seen that movie so um, I'm excited to go. Yeah. 